Hello, today we're looking at Pop OS 17.10 Beta, and this is, is the first release of Pop OS based on 17.10 Ubuntu, so this is fantastic. And as Pop OS is built for seven, System 76, which is a hardware producer, you are greeted with this VR screen. This is brilliant because I can install the OS, and when somebody and not uh, add any admin or username or password or anything like that and when you put up your computer the first time you're greeted with this welcome screen where you can choose your language you can share your privacy with this on by default you can choose your time zone as I'm based in St. Petersburg currently that is right you can add your online accounts and you are filling in your username and password right in the welcome. It is quite cool for a hardware producer to do. Let's add some info here. And uh, can create a password. As you can see, it's quite straightforward and you are ready to go. Now, they said at the beginning, or we all thought, that Pop OS will simply be Ubuntu with some theming. But as you can see, it's more GNOME with some theming. Maybe this is the next Ubuntu GNOME, and Ubuntu is Ubuntu with all the flavors stuck in into it, and so this is basically just GNOME with Ubuntu stuff is included and it's GNOME 3.26 so it's fantastic and they got a lot of own wallpapers which is funny things to, to talk about but they got some really cool wallpapers as you can see it is beautiful And got some funky stuff and some real stuff. So let's say welcome to colorful Colorado. As I am, as I am based there. And block screen is exactly the same. And you can also choose the colors for any one of your own photos. Oh. And as you can see, this is no, this is a new GNOME system settings. It's a very nice one. Very polished off. Very much like the new KDE system settings as well as Unity 8 units system settings. It's same feeling. I like it. It's GNOME 3.26. They're using Ubuntu 70.10 now. And it's a beta release. If you want to have a proper look at everything, uh, look at the, 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 look at the description of this video, you will find a link to a blog where you will find links of all the Ubuntu flavors, including Pop, which is not the official flavor yet. And also links where I just click on everything with background music. But it's a proper look at all the systems. It's lots of stuff to find. Yeah, so this is basically, if you go to the top panel, there's some very cool stuff which is hidden since, since now. So we're going to come now, as you can see, all your settings look, work well. Suspend. If you don't want to turn off your computer totally, click on this because it will crash your computer and shut it down. Suspend it immediately with no warning. Shut down. Gives you this warning. Suspend doesn't. It's quite funny. Lock screen. System settings. And time. What I like about the system settings about of GNOME is Wi-Fi is the top. As I'm running this new virtual machine, I don't do the settings. Oh, and also when I downloaded this ISO this morning, last night, you can choose between with Intel graphics installed or AMD NVIDIA graphics installed. Drivers, it's really cool. And if you go to activities, it's a nice theme. They don't have too much apps pre installed. This is it. System doesn't take too much RAM. 
one one gigabyte basically as you can see right? and this is in the VM library of S5.4.2.1 no 5.4.1.2 sorry 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 and utilities but we will go to the pop shop now which is the new software center so they don't use the GNOME software center, they use the pop shop. <laughs> it's got a funny name. And we will have a look at it now. But the pop shop is basically, it feels like the elementary OS software center. As you can see, it looks like the elementary software center. I don't know if they have to pay what you want yet. But in general, it's a nice sort of center. It's got lots of apps, and as they work very close together with Elementary OS and Ubuntu, it's no surprises actually. But it's quite cool. I like it, and I think it's a great system. It's worth checking out. Thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye.